Okay, it's week five. Today is Monday, April 27th. Uh, for the next two weeks, we're going to be talking about LS2-2, which is going to be the relationship between organisms. We're going to be exploring a whole bunch of different ways that organisms interact with each other, whether it be eating each other, competing against each other, hurting each other, helping each other, etc. So we're going to start with um, this uh, GIF here. You, ha you see a very famous fish now thanks to Finding Nemo. It's a clownfish and you'll also see another animal there. This is called a sea anemone, right? This is actually an animal, not a plant. It eats plankton and stuff like that. And through this relationship, um, do you think you can determine which organism is benefiting, which one is hurting, etc? Right? In other words, how are these two uh, living together? Like are they helping each other? Are they hurting each other? So the schedule for the next two weeks, this is the overall schedule. We're going to be talking about LS2-2. We're going to be covering predator-prey, competition, the three types of symbiosis. We're going to practice some constructive response. Uh, some of your assignments are going to include your brain pop. There's a matching activity on page 73. And then there's the quiz at the end of next week. And of course, there's going to be a my way on page 68. Right? So speaking of the my way, what I want you to do is I want you to continue researching your endangered species. So this is going to help you on your overall slideshow. So for your endangered species, come up with an example of predation or competition. So try to figure out a predator-prey relationship or a competition relationship. And the way you do that is you might want to Google your creature plus competition, maybe. Uh, predator-prey you probably already have because um, you did that for your food web stuff like that. In addition, I want you to come up with another example of mutualism or commensalism or parasitism. So for example, you can look up your creature plus parasite or your creature plus mutualism. This one might be a little bit harder to find, but if you explore enough, you, you might be able to find one, especially the parasite one, like a disease of some sort. So on page 69, you're going to be taking coronal notes on symbiosis. So it's all about the interactions of organisms. The first type of interaction is one that you're pretty familiar with. This is the predator-prey relationship. And in the predator-prey relationship, the predator hunts and eats the prey. So we have the lizard eating the ant. So the lizard is a predator, the ant is the prey. You'll see an owl eating a bird, I guess, yeah? So the predator is the owl, and the bird is the prey. Other examples, you have ladybugs eating aphids. Uh, ladybugs are actually not vegetarian. They are carnivores. They like to eat insects. And so ladybugs are actually very useful for gardeners because they will eat the pests. Yeah. Here's another one. You have a lynx. Uh, hunting a snow hare, so the predator is the lynx, and the snow hare is the prey. So if you chose the lynx as your endangered species, this is a great example of a predator-prey relationship. Okay, I'm going to show you a quick video of some more predators. Another type of relationship between organisms is called competition. Uh, this is when two species are competing for the same resources. So they might be competing for the same type of food. They might be competing for the same type of water or the same type of shelter, stuff like that. Now these are two separate species. So we're not talking about a lion competing with another lion. We're talking about a lion competing with the hyenas. So in this case, you'll see that the lions and hyenas are probably fighting over some food. Okay. Another way to think of uh, competition is the difference between invasive species and endemic species. Endemic species are species that belong there. They were there first. They're there naturally. 
invasive species were brought over. And so they're competing, these two species are competing with each other, and usually the invasive species are really aggressive and they outcompete the endemic species, making the endemic species uh, endangered or threatened. So a really good example are these birds that you see all over in Hawaii, even in Wahiwa. And these are called minor birds. Now minor birds are really pretty. They have wonderful uh, singing voices and stuff like that. But they're not from Hawaii. They're actually from Africa. And they were brought over probably as pets and stuff like that. And it wouldn't be a problem until we realized that they are out competing with the native birds. This is a native bird called the EEV. And we will learn about the EEV in eighth grade. But what has happened over time is the EEV birds have gone down in population. And part of the reason is because the minor birds have outcompeted them. They would eat more of their food or take more of their nesting spots and stuff like that. So these two species are competing with each other. And unfortunately, the invasive species is taking over and they're winning. So for your endangered species, maybe you can find a threat to it, a competitive threat. So another species that was brought over that is maybe eating its food or taking its habitat and stuff like that. Hawaii, unfortunately, being an island, um, is very vulnerable to invasive species. So we need to do a much better job as protecting our endemic species. All right, that's it for today. Um, I'll see you tomorrow.